Hi folks, I've sort of sorted out the uh, my box easel uh, <clears throat> to more or less upright. Uh, I think I started there having watched uh, Stephen Cronin, uh, a colleague. Well, we are. We do occasionally email each other, especially when our football teams uh, are playing. And I'm going to pull the blind now because it's still very low in the sky. There's a lot of rain. But for artists, that's all part of the fun, isn't it? Uh, a bit of sad news this morning. Uh, <coughs> well, yesterday, my framer, well, who I recommend. Uh, he sold loads of paintings for me over a 20 year period. Uh, over 20, 29, yes, he, he did. Uh, but he moved to where I live uh, because the lease on his gallery, well, that he was renting, ran out. And he went, but uh, he, he ended up in, in uh, where I live. But the, where he was, he just operated as mainly a framer. But he would sell pictures for me, he was always very kind. And uh, but sadly, I can't recommend him anymore because he's uh, retiring this week or next week. Uh, he's a lovely guy and to all those people that might be watching me that I've recommended to go to, David Skingle of the uh, Sackville Gallery. Very interesting, I, I used to buy a lot of stuff from a framer's, a wholesale framer called uh, Origin. And he was their rep, and he did the. Uh, they run, run courses and framing, and he t he he did one. I thought, well, I'd like to do that, and that's what he became a really superb first class framer. I've never had any complaints from any of the people that I've sent to him. I used to send them to him when he was in South Croydon, and when he was in Wellington, I sent a lot of my people to him, who bought locally. And I've just been to collect a check, which is very nice. And uh, probably about 30 paintings, small paintings, that he had in his uh, chart, flip chart uh, thing. Uh, so from, from Fair Wells, but he's not moving very far, but he's, he's not, he's had enough of framing. But he's uh, probably about coming up 70, and he's had a good innings. I don't know, I might be doing a disservice there. But anyway, going back to, to Steve, he gave me a lot of help when I, uh, was just getting used to or just finding my way with YouTube and how I got into YouTube was I was doing a, a, a watercolour demonstration for a friend uh, who couldn't get to me on a winter's day so I sent I, I wanted to send her a video but I didn't know how but my daughter uh, knows everything about computing and stuff and helping me helping her dad said oh that's easy dad send, send it to yourself I thought what? Uh, so I did, and then that, then we went from from it, we opened a channel on YouTube, and I started. I was very much in the dark as to what it was all about, but I started, and I started to look at Stephen Crane. But well, there's a lot more people like us on YouTube now. It's grown quite considerably. The interest in in uh, uh, learning and then teaching others. Uh, but I started watercolor painting in my late twenties probably late twenties, with a small family. Uh, and, and around about, um, well, I was about 38, we've moved, to, we've moved to, to, to where I live now. And I joined a local art club, but I didn't know anything. I just took some demonstrations, some, some paintings to, to show, make sure I was bona fide rubbish, which I was. But they didn't see that. They saw a potential artist. So I've never, I would never ever turn someone away who's a relative beginner because uh, you never know how they're going to turn, down, turn, turn out. Let's face it, um, you're not born, well, generally, you're not born with talent. Talent comes at the end. You get old, decrepit like me, and, and then people say, oh, what a lovely talent you've got. No, not talent, it's hard work. Uh, I couldn't do it years and years ago. Some people think I can't do it now. But, uh, but anyway... I got in touch with Steve, Stephen, um, we swapped email addresses, and he helped me quite a lot when when uh, I was st starting. And I, I'd done oil painting for 15 years before joining YouTube. I only went back to YouTube to Colour for a friend to help her out. And 
And Stephen gave me a lot of help. Now, I was watching his latest one, or one of his latest ones, where he's got a snow field with big trees down here, water dripping everywhere. What I'm going to do, I, I, that's what I was doing years ago as well, and and I'm going to I'm going to pinch some ideas from him. He won't mind. He's very generous, is Stephen, and I'm sure lots of you are copying me. Which is what it's all about. That's how you learn. Uh, so we'll, be, we'll, we'll start from the basics. Uh, we've got uh, cadmium yellow light. That's an artist quality, but the rest are cotton. Uh, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and burnt sienna. That's me. That's me. That's me palette. Uh, now I could put my. I won't put my water. No, I won't put my water. I've got a big uh, one of those uh, pill containers. A great big one. Plastic. I just. Oh, oh dear. Sorry. Oh, I'll have to reset you now. Uh, no, we're okay. Uh, uh, right, before I get it, the, the sun drops down too low, we'll, we'll wet this. I'm not going to make uh, this the same as Stephen's, but I, I like um, watching Stephen. He's got a lot of inspiration in the past, and I like to think that he, he gets a couple of ideas here and there from me. Because we've been doing this a long time. Right, okay, not too much. And I, I'm going. To, I'm, the snow scene he did was with some big trees on a bank here, and I'm going to do something similar. But do do this sky first. So we use a bit of bit of uh, raw sienna, and then it run down the page. Doesn't really matter. Um, we'll put in a sky colour, which will be will be ultramarine, ultramarine, and uh, it's a bit of Payne's grey, and a bit of uh, alizarin. All right, okay. Bob Manson used to use a lot of alizarin in his sky, so I'm going to do one myself. Okay, so then we go a bit heavier up the top there. A bit of Payne's grey, we want a bit of, bit of dark up here. Right, now we're going to put in some trees. So, uh, burnt, burnt umber, burnt umber, and a bit of, bit of ultramarine. Now, because that paper's lovely and wet, we can uh, put, put the trees in. I can put come on the other side. Right, now this is my new hake. Oh, George Cohen. George Cohen, oh, 1966. Well, cut that time we won it. Oh, I don't want that a bit darker than that. And I'll put some distant trees in. Uh, Plenty of cloth. Uh, right, let's get some uh, burnt sienna. I mean, uh, some ultramarine and, uh, and a bit of so I'll just put a bit of bit of stuff in here and. Uh, Right, so yeah, let's get a bit of, bit of burnt, burnt umber in there. I don't use a lot of burnt umber. You can make burnt umber with Payne's grey and, uh, and burnt sienna. Right, okay, now 
Uh, let's uh, put a two volt sleeve in us. Uh, I'll do some some here so I get the roof lines uh, I just put it up for something this in. it will backfill but you can go over with some snow That's not very good, is it? Mm. Alright, let's just uh, pull that tight. I'm not going to do much on this one. Uh, Put some sort of red roofs on and stuff. All right, let's uh, just get some uh, bushes. I'll stay with the uh, with the amber. dark and here now you've got to be careful as the paper dries it, it, the shine will go off of it but if you do too much into it then it will uh, go into cauliflowers and nasties Yeah, I've, I've, I've actually out there. Uh, let's see. Uh, right, no, I'm not really happy with that, so I'll take it out. This is just a problem when you when you sort of work from someone else's paint, so you you lose your own. to do some uh, some work and I've got my lovely little Frank Clark I see Frank Clark's put another video on I'll watch it later on uh, just put in some uh, stuff I'll give that a bit of a, a bit of a dry, then I might be able to modify some of that. Right now, I don't like that. I've made a right mess of that, so I was. Put a bit of plain spray 
a bit of ultramarine. I'll just go over it. Just darken that a bit more. Just cover that horrible roof up. more of a sketch then for the painting but this dark we can put some uh, stuff over it Got a bit of a bit of red. Well, the sky's okay. Uh, Let's put a couple of figures in anyway, we need red. A bit blue. Put some heads on in a minute. Let's have a come in there. Very scrappy figures. Whoops, so I can't hold the brush. My, my wrists hurt. Three years of filling carpets. Uh, right, I think that's a bit of a bit of a disaster. But uh, we'll uh, do a bit of uh, a bit of white. I've got some white gouache here. Maybe this is won't be my last painting of the year. I'll do one for Patreon tomorrow. Let's just. When you do fences and stuff like that, don't just don't connect it all up. Bit of cool ass, get you out of trouble.
Oh, this is a very, very uh, scrappy painting. Ooh, the bit of hurts now. rougher than this. Oh, let's get some whitey bits there. This guy's out. Uh, I'll not put a bit more red in there, I think it's uh... okay, I'm gonna let that go. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm doing this just for the sake of doing one really. Having Dead time of a frame, male framer. Oh. Okay, well, we'll let that go. I'll put it in a frame. Oh, my, my, my mouth. It's not, I, I do apologise. My, my, I'm painting really for the sake of painting. Let's get out of chores. Uh, right, this one. Ooh. Well, I hope everybody in the UK has does manage to have a nice holiday in spite of all the strikes that are going on. Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, well that's, that's as rough as I can get it. Uh, so there's my little bit of plastic car which I didn't put to good use really. Well this is not too bad. A bit too busy but uh, so just... Uh... Oh there we are. It's nothing like Steve so it's not a copy other than the colour, the burnt, yeah, burnt umber and, and ultramarine. I used to use it a lot but I mainly use uh, a burnt sienna with uh, ultramarine or light red or Payne's grey and ultramarine but the sky you see the the paper the, the water runs down the page but look it's disappeared I've been a bit I didn't plan this at all really I just went and went at it but we've got a lovely sky coming here look it's just showing all the all the streaky bits coming down it's all dry now so we'll uh, let that let that go. Um, I, th I think I could probably put just a bit more highlight with that white gouache. Right. Okay. Just putting a. Uh,
bit of snow on the top here. Okay, before I ruin all of it, hope you like that one, folks. Um, it's what it's one. Well, I hope you like that abstract I tried to do. I did um, some more work on it. I don't know if you're interested. Uh, I brightened up the centre of it, but I don't know what you can you can, you can put this any way you like. This way. Um, but I, I wiped some of the paint out from it, the, the oil paint, just to lighten up the sensor. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll get this uploaded and it'll probably be the last one I do for YouTube. I'll do one tomorrow for Patreon and then that's it until, oh, I don't know, Wednesday. I need a rest of my neck. Thanks for watching, have a great Christmas and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.